Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off The Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip. It's a great way to take a break to take a few hours away from the crowds. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. Normally, I would take you on one of my adventures off the Las Vegas Strip or with me on one of my travels, but this pandemic has changed all of that. In this video, we are talking to Las Vegas residents and seeing how COVID-19 has affected their lives. They'll share with us how they're coping and what they've been doing since that stay at home order. We will be talking to business owners, casino workers, a teacher, a pastor, just to name a few. These are the brave men and women that have demonstrated their resilience, their courage, and their Vegas strong. These are the people that will not only help bring normal back, but make it better. Hi, my name is Zach. I've lived in Las Vegas for about eight years now, and this is how I'm coping with life during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm in Las Vegas here. I'm a teacher for the Clark County School District. Hi, I'm David Rosen. I'm a music composer, podcast producer, and I work with my family over at Wax Tracks Records here in Las Vegas. Hi, I'm Alicia Johnston. Hi, I'm Jesse Johnston. And our family is in the tourism industry. Hi, my name is Dave. I'm a recent retiree from the casino industry. I've been in the business for about 41 years and uh, just retired uh, somewhat on my own and with the pandemic. Hi everyone, my name is Leo. I am currently a student at UNLV. I'm studying for health administration. And uh, for this semester, I'm doing an internship at one of the city's hospitals. And for that internship, I'm doing a project which requires doing a throughput process, lean process for uh, some of the hospital's clinics and primary cares. Hi, I'm Steve Miller. This is my wife, Sarah. I work for a local utility company. And I've been in the hospitality industry for almost 20 years. My name is Patrick J. Dodd, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Las Vegas. Hello, my name is Michael Dean. Um, I'm a pastor here at the Crossing Church. I've been on staff here for about four years. I've lived in Las Vegas for almost 30 years. Hi, my name's Aubrey Jones, and I'm a small business owner of Hadco Staffing Solutions. And Hadco Staffing Solutions is a temporary staffing solution that provides uh, staffing resources in the meetings and events and hospitality industry. Hi, my name is Alexandra, and I work in the live entertainment industry, specifically for a professional sports team. Hello, my name is Diana, and I'm a registered nurse. So this is basically how I've been coping with COVID-19. Um, since we're all kind of limited to being home, I'm working from home, not really going out, not going shopping. So the only way that I can get out and be out of the house is at the park. Going to the clinics and the hospital um, with this COVID pandemic has been a little crazy. Nurses and staff and uh, doctors are really um, they're, they were stressful at the beginning because they didn't have the PPE equipment, but now they're um, they're a little better, but it's still, it's scary for them. But you, you can tell right away that they really care and they encourage people to stay safe and stay at home and take their uh, precautions when going out only when necessary. We've been doing some distance learning, trying to teach our students via Class Dojo or Google Classroom. It's been kind of difficult. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a major impact on my industry, on the utility industry, uh, as we're all working from home, uh, except for our technicians who are out there still going door to door, uh, making sure our customers have their service that they need. In the hospitality industry, it's been completely decimated, but we're looking forward to it coming back even stronger. Family-wise, we've been uh, spending a lot of time together. Um, it's been interesting. We have we have school ch school age children who have been having to learn remotely. Um, we're playing a lot of games, putting together a lot of puzzles, and then we do have a senior this year, so he's spending his graduation here at home. Ever since COVID nineteen hit, uh, we've of course been here in quarantine, uh, just you know, mostly stuck in the house, but you know, doing our best to to fill the time with as much uh, as much fun stuff as well as productive stuff as we can. Of course, Wax Tracks is completely closed, so that's at a standstill, but 
I've been filling my time with a whole lot, really, as far as um, music and podcasting is concerned. Unfortunately, uh, one of the podcasts that I produced, All Rice No Beans, uh, can't really continue during this time because we, we spotlight restaurants and a lot of restaurants are closed or at limited capacity with just, uh, you know, to-go orders and stuff like that. So we don't really want to, you know, give people uh, not the full All Rice No Beans experience. So we've had that one a little bit on hold aside from a few special episodes, but I have been able to continue my movie podcast, piecing it together, as well as my politics podcast, Bird Road. COVID-19 affected our family industry um, because we operate a second business um, at a state park and it's unable to open right now until the governor gives it a go ahead. And so that's how it's affected our family industry. We're, we're a month or two behind so far. We have had to homeschool our children as well as many other families have. And so we've had to learn how to balance homeschooling our children with other aspects of our lives. As a retiree and a, a casino worker, just getting out when this was coming in, uh, it affected me more so with all my friends, people that were still working that are in the industry and how it's affected them. Uh, so I've been basically here for them to be a good, a good listener, so to speak. The governor said we were an essential business here in Nevada. And to be very clear, that is not the case for every state. There are some states where real estate was actually considered non-essential and uh, agents haven't been able to work. So here we were fortunate enough that uh, we were deemed essential. Yeah. So here in Las Vegas, you know, and in Nevada as a state, um, real estate has nor uh, basically functioned as normal. Um, saying that, we have certainly um, been affected by this virus um, as, as most businesses have. You know, we, we have to work from home, so most of our office hours are spent at home. Um, most of our calls and or our meetings are done, you know, virtually, so we've been doing a lot of Zoom type um, buyer consultations or listing presentations if you will you know like open houses we're, we're not doing open houses we're not um, allowed to show properties that have tenants in place which is very unusual yeah so COVID-19 has been a big impactor in so many ways I'm here at the church it's uh, really been able to we've had to focus on what does the church look like and this time uh, with, it's, been, it's brought us back to the fact that the church is not a physical location. It's not a building that you see, but the church is a gathering of people and it's all about the people. So we've been able to go out and move our services, not from this location, but now we're online through many different uh, streaming services. We've gone out to the community where we fed elderly, we fed uh, assisted living facilities and people who are in need. We've handed out treats for people who are waiting in food banks. Uh, we're providing food for several food banks who are in need across the city. Don't uh, We've had a blood drive right here. So we're be able to bring the church to the people who are in need and not obviously bringing them here to a physical location. And that piece I love more than anything else. Well, the COVID-19 has affected my business dramatically um, because we focus in on meetings and events and hospitality and large conventions. Our business has pretty much 99.5% been wiped out. Um, we're really concerned about our city and we know that it's gonna take a while to get back, but we're strong and we're gonna persevere through this and we have faith and optimism that this will come back quickly because our state's made some good choices. Um, I unfortunately uh, have been furloughed from my position because of the COVID-19 um, you know, shutdown. Um, the entire sports industry has been greatly affected by the pandemic. Um, obviously, one of the best parts of you know sports is being able to go to the you know games and be with fellow fans and be in the stadiums and arenas. But because of the six feet rule and the large crowds rule, um, you know all of my leagues uh, games have been postponed as well as many other sports leagues. So it unfortunately has deeply impacted my industry. The pandemic has been stressful for all healthcare workers only because it's such a, a new virus and we're trying to figure out how to deal with it. But it adds even more stress knowing the community or some members of the community don't believe it's real. And I think once you're in the hospitals and you get to see it firsthand, you realize how real it is. It doesn't just affect the elderly or those with pre-existing conditions. It can affect literally anybody. And I wish we could get the community to see that 
and yeah you might be really healthy and get to go out and you might get corona and have no symptoms but then you go back out and give it to someone who will most likely end up in the hospital um, and that's very scary um, I'm pretty optimistic my spirits are still pretty good I'm not going stir crazy I do get a little bored every now and then but I usually jump on FaceTime with some friends um, I stocked up on a good supply of alcohol so we do FaceTime cocktails I use my walks I use this to clear my head I um, FaceTime with my friends as a form of socializing and I've been streaming a shit ton of Netflix. Um, like, there have been shows that I've just been like, yeah, sure, we'll start that. I've started shows, I've finished shows, I've abandoned shows. Just whatever. I spend a lot of time out here in my backyard cooking for my family, watching a lot of Netflix, just really trying to stay busy and productive. More busy than I've been in a long time because I'm able to lock myself in my room, not really have to leave and go do anything, and just sit here and make music. And I have been making a lot of really great stuff. I am very excited about starting to release some of that stuff and should be happening in the next few months, really. I'm gonna have, uh, have a lot to really put out there and I'm looking forward to that. And it's, you know, it's just good to be able to stay busy and be able to do some stuff while I'm stuck here. Uh, during, during the time of quarantine, uh, we've basically just been spending a lot of time around the house, um, spending time on those projects that we forgot to do a long time ago. Um, we've been landscaping and making all kinds of repairs. Uh, we've also, you know, done it without touching anybody, bought and purchased another house and in the process of getting this one all um, patched up so we can sell, sell this house and move to our dream property and home. It's also enabled us some extra family time that we miss out during our typical busy schedules with work. Um, we've been taking advantage of family time and I've been taking advantage of exercising. I encourage uh, positive thinking, uh, to stay busy, to set goals, to have things, uh, you know, you want to do in a week. So, you know, like yesterday I waxed my car, and, you know, I exercise every day. I try to stay busy. I try to stay focused on positive things. I don't watch the news that much at all because it's just too negative, it seems like. Start watching movies. I've watched so many movies and uh, Netflix and all that stuff. And then I go for walks around the block almost every day just to stay a little active. And hopefully it gets a little warmer and now I'm going to the pool. But um, yeah, eat a lot. Getting fat and getting sassy. During the stay at home order, we've kind of just all been hanging out together. We do a lot of Zoom happy hour calls with our friends and family. We're, we have a lot of uh, friends at our local PTs, so they have some great happy hours on Zoom. We've also binge watched a lot of TV shows. And matter of fact, my sister from Nebraska called me last night and told me I had to binge watch a show, so I stayed up all night and watched normal people. And then we're gonna start working on old shows from the 80s. <laughs> but we're hanging in there. We're looking forward to coming back even stronger. Uh, in the meantime, I've been spending a lot of time in the pool, which is where I am now, uh, with my family, my niece and my nephew, and um, you know, everyone else that I live with so um, that's been a nice way to pass the time and I think we're making the best of a bad situation um, but I'm wishing um, you know health and wellness to everybody else in my industry um, all you know friends and family that are watching this and um, you know hope we get back to regular business soon um, I've been doing a lot of reading uh, lots of different books things like that I and mean, that's kind of been my go-to because I don't want to send it on the screen or on the TV so I've been doing a lot of reading and really I'm just trying to stay in touch as much as I can. Um, I'm doing a small group every week where I'm meeting with a bunch of guys. I'm doing several of those on Zoom. And I'm just reaching out to old friends, calling and texting and checking on people. And that's how I've been spending my time. I have watched a lot of Netflix, a lot of snacking. I've been able to read some books that I've been meaning to read for a long time. Um, do some at-home workouts. 
just relax at home. It's, it's not that hard to stay home and keep others safe. What we've been doing to get through this hard time is I have an eight-year-old daughter, so we've been doing a lot of homeschooling projects. We've been fortunate enough to swim and enjoy the beautiful weather. We've been working out, but we're eating more, so it's not really working out that great. But I've also been really taking this time to put in stronger processes and procedures about my business and looking at ways that I can pivot to try to gain some more um, you know, revenue for the business when things do start to reopen. Um, we have faith and again, we are strong and we're gonna get through this, but it's definitely a hard time. So all of us at Hadco Staffing Solutions are thinking about you and wishing you all well. Be safe. Aside from uh, you know, the music and the podcasts and all that, I also have been using the time to really uh, get into the cleaning spirit. Uh, we are not just cleaning, but doing the whole uh, the tidying, decluttering kind of thing. We have gotten rid of literally so much stuff i mean i think every other week is a bulk day you know with the trash companies and we have gotten rid of literally like 60 giant trash bags of stuff that was just filling up closets that we never ever ever go to so i'd say aside from eating sleeping exercising working on my music and podcasts watching movies then comes cleaning it's just been non-stop cleaning and kind of enjoy that I'm, I'm like I said making the most of the time at home and I can't wait for things to reopen and for the world to go kind of back to normal as much as possible but I am making the most of my time here and uh, this house is gonna look great when when everything's said and done and I'm gonna have a couple new albums and a whole lot of new podcast episodes so you know, I look forward to the future and just making the most of the time I'm home with my animals and my fiance and my computer where I make all my music and podcasts and all that stuff. Sort of, you know, gone as, gone as usual. There's my dog. He's not particularly happy about the virus. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> COVID-19 pandemic has had a major um... effect on our family. <laughs> not going by. So. Right. <laughs> Family-wise, yeah. we've been spending a lot of time together. We uh, we all have. Are we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While it's been totally decimated, we're looking forward to it coming back strong in 2021. Actually, I don't want to say that. <laughs> you guys, I forgot the name of the show. Hold on. Johnston. Are you sure? <laughs> and, and we're, we're the, the Johnstons. Why do you guys say it like that? Hi, I'm Alicia Johnston. Hi, I'm Jesse Johnston. And, and we're, we're the, the Johnstons. And we're also in the tourism industry. Why did I say also? During the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, I've been uh, basically staying the stay at home order. I've been staying at home. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to the first thing that we're going to do once the COVID-19 stay-at-home order has been lifted, four-card four kino. kino.